So something I thought until very recently was that my voice was taken from me. Um, I think this typically happens when we are kids and we learn that in some or most circumstances, you know, if we have a difficult home life or, or any difficulties, we might decide that it's best, safest, to be quiet and not say anything at all. And that, that in some cases serve, serves us well for a while. But the problem with that is that it's a programming. And once we believe whatever we believe, that causes us to shut down our voice. Uh, it's hard to come out of that. And it's hard to, to well, first you got to realize that there's a blockage there. So that's a hard part, is actually recognizing that something happened. Because we're, we're very, um, we're very likely to want to blame other things, blame what's in front of us basically for the way that we feel. So in any current circumstance, we might say, oh, it's your fault. I, I feel like I can't say, I can't do what I want to do or say what I want to say because you're going to react poorly or whatever. But at some point, the truth becomes that we are safe and It's nobody's responsibility but our own to remember that to within ourselves in every moment if we have to. Because I'm finding for myself that that feels like the deepest wound there or the deepest belief that I have been carrying that is like, I'm, it's not safe to speak up. It's not safe to just be myself. It's not safe to follow my own dreams, which in the past there have been cases where that has been the wisest choice. And you learn a lot from that too, being in that quiet space of observing other people and yourself. And so th there's a lot of power in that, but at some point it will it will hold you back so what I started to say in the beginning though is like there's nobody that stole your voice like it's still it's still yours it's still in you you had made a decision rightfully so to close it down So, the beauty of that is that you, we, I, am the only one who can open it up again, let it out, believe in my safety. So nobody took your voice. Nobody took my voice. It's mine. I still have it. I know what it says all the time. I know what I'm feeling. I know what's authentic to me. I don't always say it and you don't always have to say it. You don't always have to say what you think. But if there's, if there's a case where you want to do something or say something that feels really authentic to you and you feel blocked 
because you're believing you're not safe, it's not safe, then that's when you got to look at it. That's when it's hurting you. And that's the only thing that's hurting you. I'm not saying that there aren't situations that are unsafe. And um, there's other ways through that. And maybe that's where you're at, so maybe this doesn't apply to you. It doesn't hurt to start saying you're safe, though. If you can start saying in your mind, I am safe. Nothing wrong with that. Nobody will even know. But eventually, you will remember your power through that reprogramming. And you'll find your way out of that. And it might take years. It's taken years for me, but... But... Going through that is the biggest gift of all. Because... If you, if you have shut down your voice, you have to work to bring it back. And, you know, if that takes years, fine. You've been telling yourself that for decades, probably. I had. I still am. But, what's a couple years? And you take, you take that wisdom after that and you, you show other people, you teach other people. You know how many people are in that situation that need help to get out? That need to hear the wisdom that you gain from going through that for a couple years or whatever it takes? That's, that's invaluable information and experience. And then, and then what will you be able to do with yourself and your life and the world once you get over that hurdle? A lot. A lot. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I've wanted to do a YouTube channel for probably a decade, actually. But um, I couldn't use my voice. I shut it down. So here we are. And there's lots more to work through. And there's a lot of other things that have gone on and will go on, but this is part of it. And shifting what's in our mind is a big, it's big. It's, it's pretty much gonna help you in every situation you're having trouble with. Is like, hmm, what am I telling myself here that isn't serving me? And what do I need to believe differently? So, <sighs> that's all for now.